This one's going to be about Dolphin, and um, this is the default file browser on uh, Kubuntu and KDE in general. So this is what it looks like uh, by default. And um, let me see here. You can actually zoom in, zoom out w with the icons here, right? Not a big deal. You have this in Nautilus also. But uh, over here they have the places, and over here they have the information, and I'll show you that in a minute. But uh, in here they have the icon view right now. You can go to details, and you see how they have like the white spaces. I think in Nautilus you don't have the white spaces. You have like a stupid lines, and with that in the way you can't make a uh, new folder like you could in here. So this one is way better than that other one. Okay, and you have uh, the uh, column view, which is um, I'll say pretty convenient if uh, you know certain um work that you have to do you can use this instead of the other view because um let me see here so you go like you know you have different folders you can continue going on uh to it so you see you keep going keep going to uh, you access the folders pretty convenient there uh for certain reasons or certain uh, things you have to do uh what else is here oh they have the split view or the dual view uh by default here that you can use so you see how you, have, you can you have one location over here and you have another location um somewhere else right um i like i dig that a lot uh so that's good and the information over here um uh, it's pretty useful if let's say you um you know do a lot of uh, graphic stuff or you look at a lot of pictures so let me show you an example um so there you go you have uh this and you see how they have um the pictures over here and you can preview it really quick dig that so and you can do this for music too like um you know you have like mp3 you can play the song uh, from here uh convenient also cuz it's quick access uh, so let me get out of that and uh, Let me see here. Oh yeah, I forgot to show you this. Uh, but um, in, in the pictures, if you know you have like a preview like this of all your thumbnails, you can disable it by clicking on the preview here, and you won't see the thumbnails no more. Uh, that's pretty convenient if you know you have a slow computer and uh, you don't want to use more RAM. Uh, that will uh, definitely help it. Uh, so that's that with that one and let's let's go back oh this thing um you can actually view different information so um by default they only have like uh, maybe the size you see how the items are here let me zoom in even more uh at the bottom of it they show you uh, the items or you can add more the dates uh when it was created and all that you know extra information if you want it really quick this is all there Another thing that I like is um I'll give you an example of this. Let me zoom back out. This is too big. This view. Uh this you see how it has an A P C order? I love this because um and this one is called a show group, so it, by default it looks like this, right? And uh the show groups, you see how it organizes like that that is great you know you can see it um, by the file names really quick dig that uh... what else is down here okay um... the panels here you can add like a tree view uh, up here you can switch it you know really quick so that's that you can do tree view and um... okay you know how um... in Nautilus they have uh, the open terminal this one they already have it built in here look at open terminal look at that really quick and that's not the only way to do that you can do this um, permanently with um, if you like the shell a lot then yeah you can enable this one they have the terminal at the bottom so you can use the shell and back to the GUI um, really fast like they switch back and forth um, probably convenient for people that likes uh, the, the shell a lot but I'll disable that right now. All right, let's go to something else. And what else is there? 
All right, the, in here they have a configured dolphin. All right, so some of these I, I like because you can disable some of these crap that I, I don't like about um, this. You see how they have? Um, let me show you the default way. This is what they have by default. Uh, you see how the plus sign right here, the plus and minus. I'm not a big fan of that, so I uh, uncheck this, and you don't have that no more. Okay, and show. Uh, tooltips uh, is basically you hover over it. I'll show you extra information. You see how they, they show you that. Dig that. And the rename thing, you know how you rename a folder? It'll pop up this prompt. I really hate this stupid thing. So to disable that, you check on this one uh, rename inline. And now when you rename something, it will just be inline like Nautilus. You know, I like that way. And the confirmation here uh, to delete stuff or, or, or move it to the trash can. I really hate all this, so I'm just gonna check all, uncheck all of this because uh, let me show you the default way first. Okay, so if you want to delete, um, let's say this thing, it'll prompt you to move it to the trash can and all that. I, I I don't like that. Okay, I don't like that at all. So I'll say uncheck all this because um, I don't like any confirmation. Uh, so that's that. And what is this? The previews. They show you. Uh, which extensions um, that you want to it to preview not a big deal and here in the context menu you can have it uh, have the delete button and all that so if you right click on um, let's say this one uh, they don't have a lot alright but uh, if you want to add this and this in here they'll have uh, the delete option and the copy to and move to so let's uh, apply that and you see they have the delete option here and they have the copy to and move to so if you um, want to, you know, throw it to another folder really quick, you can do it from here in the context menu. Dig that. Uh, the status bar, they, you can get rid of the zoom slider. So this is the bottom here, or you can add in uh, the space information if you want to view how much space you're using. Let's see how I care. Uh, that's okay. I don't, don't really care for that that much, but that's what you can do in there. And this thing is like a browser, like I said. So uh, if you right-click up top here, you can move this, um, you know, up or the bottom if you like. So you see how you have it in the bottom here, kind of like X Chat. And if you right-click on it again, and let me see here, uh, configure toolbar. You have options like in, um, I'll say like um, a Firefox. They have like. Uh, you can add in other stuff like a new tab option um, and you can click on it really quick so let me put new tab or something apply it and you see you have the new tab at the bottom here really dig that and they have shortcuts and all that but I'm not gonna get into that but you know really advanced I say this is way better than Nautilus it has everything that Nautilus has and more uh, that I want the only thing I don't like is the the UI. That's that was that was it. But the default UI. So I would recommend is this. Okay, if you don't use this information bar, um, get rid of it. If you don't use this, well, you do use this, but I don't really like the big ass icons they have here. Uh, it's it's scalable. Uh, whenever you resize the window, I still don't like it. So I say X out of that and use this icon here, and you can access your places really quick same thing but smaller and save space okay so this is the default view that I would suggest you use uh, let, me, let me put this back up top so you see what I'm talking about so this is the default view okay uh, you have options here of um, just like in Nautilus where you have either um, the address type of thing and uh, the other one is the navigate is the clickable so if you're here, you can go click back on you know the home. Dig that too. Uh, so that is it for Dolphin. Really lightweight and really powerful um, and very fast to me. So I love it. So that's it.